variable is the most essential concept in any programming language. Before we begin, let's imagine a software program as shown. When you run the program, it is asking the name, age, birth date and whether the person is married or not. When you look this kind of program, a question may come in your mind that the system must be storing the data you entered somewhere and that too temporarily. So here comes the variable. The values entered here are stored in memory that is inside RAM. So if you are a programmer and want to collect data and store it, you need a variable. Variable means it varies. The value may change. Also, there is one more important point in the above program and that is variety of data values. DJ is a name so it consists characters. Age is a numeric value. Birth date has date value and is married is a kind of true or false value. The type of data we store in a variable is derived by data type. So as a programmer, if I have to create this program, I would write the code something like this. Of course, I am not using any specific programming language at the moment. So let's write a kind of pseudo code for the same program. Because this program will ask four values, we will take four variables. For example, let's declare name variable. We will say character name. When we say character, that actually is a collection. The collection of characters is called a string. So instead of writing character here, we make this variable as string data type. Here string or character is called the data type and name is name of the variable. Remember data type decides the type of value which will be stored in a variable. Similarly, when we take age variable, the data type is numeric or a number and age is a variable name here. Let's take birth date variable with date data type. Now is married is going to store true or false value. For such values, the data type in programming is boolean. Now let's write the pseudo code of getting and printing the values. This will display message enter your name on the screen. This line will get value. Similarly, age, birth date and is married. This data is also gathered from the user. Once the data is entered, the programmer will print the data using variable names. Here we are adding some code to decide whether the person is married or not. So we are putting an if condition and we are adding one string variable that is marital status. Depending on is married is true or false, we are assigning a specific value. The above line has few words in double quotes. Those are the words you want to display as it is, that is they are constants. But for the rest of the part, the values should be printed and those are printed from variables. So whichever values the user entered, those are joined or concatenated and displayed, which you can see in the output. In short, a variable is a temporary data location in RAM where a program stores values entered by the user and these values can be used as and when required by the program at a later stage. Marital status is one of the variable in which user is not going to enter but it is a program's need to take one more variable. So there are situations where you take variables which are internally used by the program. So the syntax of using a variable is you have to declare the variable. When you declare a variable, 
it is declared with the data type and the variable name not all programming languages go with the same syntax there are languages like python javascript where depending on the type of value you assign to a variable the data type is decided there are many data types we have in various programming languages but in general we can think of these data types string which can have a character value words or maybe sentences numeric data types like integer float that actually stores decimal points for example 45.90 boolean which can have true or false value date data types which can store various types of various formats of dates also and objects now object is very open type it means you can store any type of value not to worry about this type as this will be discussed in detail at a later stage in fact data type also determines number of bytes occupied by each variable in the ram but this concept also is to be discussed in forthcoming sections Thank <laughs> you.